I am going to record one more video in respect to Angela Merkel. Is going to be the last one, and then the next thing is going to be definitely to the court, to the police. We're going to settle this matters. She seems is holding something in her hands. If it's not sure, it could be what she suggested in that black folder. Uh, that, however, for my case, that would never be enough. And, well, she was involved since my early childhood in this genocide. It's no longer has anything to do with a crime. He didn't have anything to do with a crime ever. It was a genocide. Regretfully, I have to say, also upon and after German reunion, you know, when Eastern and Western Germanys united, on a one million occasions, Western German officials and Eastern German officials begged me to do this for them, to do that for them one more time, one more time, just this, just that, giving me updates about how things went on in Moscow prior to the fall of Soviet Union. And before the Germany reunited, you should hear these people, how they regarded me as some gesture on just what I will become. Let's take a closer look to the German reunion. This I don't have to ask anybody for anything because this, what I'm about to state, everything is already documented, confirmed. 100% de facto in my pocket. So it's not easy on Angela Merkel what I'm about to say next. Because of what I stated, this issue here, this is a really, really tough issue that my teeth were destroyed. I'm not going to say because of Angela Merkel. But Angela Merkel was a major supporter, extremely supported toward breaking my teeth. I had my standards, like everybody has his own or her own in this world, and they played down my expectations with the drugs drugging me up during MK Ultra, using also drugs to remove the teeth and stuff like this to literally, I don't know how you say, mayati, make the teeth soft in jaws so that you can move them out. I also believe there was more than just this. I also believe they have given me some kind of LCD, maybe, or something like that. I believe they have done something to me to amplify the feeling of my losing all the teeth inside of the mouth. The teeth inside of my mouth were, I had a feeling like I'm going to lose them. It's just about any time. Every time they brought me from United States of America, Every time they brought me from United States of America, it was a play with the teeth. It was this nurse Yanko who also got the job in Germany that was playing with this stuff and was eventually congratulated. And you're going to watch this stuff here. I'm going to put the link right below. So, anyhow, Angela Merkel is supposedly a feminist, right? 
one thing is certain um she had to pose as a stasi she was elite of eastern german uh politic and she kept some really really disgusting views that she had absolutely no right to them and did so because of the western german politicians whom i have tolerated and go and see the presidents western german presidents that were at the time i don't have time for that shit. but those people would go just about anywhere during mk ultra in any kind of subject in absolutely any kind of issue to defend me so they could get their interests through me and they did realize them if you look at the history of the germany of the eastern germany you're going to see that whatever adolf hitler have fucked up i was the one who literally reversed all his bullshit all his errors all his mistakes not only for the germany but for entire eastern europe Poland, Czech Republic, Slovakia, Romania, Ukraine, it's how they gained next to Eastern Germany, their sovereignty is back. Everything other of Hitler destroyed, I managed to reverse. Germany became fully sovereign once more. In March of 1991. Do you know what happened with me? I want to give you a really good taste. The first thing that happened to me, I'm here from Slovenia. So the two Germanys, Eastern and Western Germanys, reunited in 1991. Angela Merkel hated me. because I have my views on Eastern Germany as a shitty one, just like I did with the Russia, with the Soviet Union, I also did with the Eastern Germany, and I humiliated the Stasis and Eastern German politic all the time. They found themselves all the time beaten up whenever I was around. And she had some kind of problem in her head in respect to Eastern Germany, which I would regard to as envy. She was obligated, she was loyal to Western Germany. But the thing about it is, that she was sick in her head due to my being a neighbor of Austria, where I had my aunt uh, ability basically to immigrate, to start life, not only because I would have aunt, but because southern part of Austria is still Slovenian minority. All through Austria was the founding land of what you see here today is a Sloven Slovenia. This is where everything started. The name of the country was Karantania, really. This was the homeland of Slovenian people. So she was, in my opinion, mentally ill, who became completely evident once I immigrated to the Filach in Austria, which happened in 1992. I became I was a mechanic, maintenance mechanic, Ruchaunicer, Stroni Mechanic, and I also got education for mechanical engineering technician, Stroni Technic, which promised quite good, especially outside of Slovenia, career, a really, really well paying job. 
uh, people made fortune in more than in Austria, in Germany, where they would immigrate to do this kind of jobs. Instead of the fortune, I found myself here in Villach searching with a very limited German skill, language skills. Still, somehow, I would definitely manage to get through if I would only get opportunity, job. I did so because my aunt told me. My aunt told me, just come here, don't worry about language, don't worry about shit. And when I went to Austria, I didn't speak any word German. I was fluent in English very well, but very good. My English was very good, but German, I never learned one. I didn't care. I chose English as a language. Still, in Austria, numerous people succeeded just as in Germany without any language skills. So I came to Austria, to Villach, in 1992, just to be thrown on MK Ultra and fucked more from all sides possible. Uh, found myself meeting these people from employment agencies, state employment agencies, Austrian state employment agencies, the MK Ultra never stopped. Upon the fall of the Soviet Union, this beast rolled on and rolled on and rolled on. And you know what happened? Uh, Angela Merkel, even though I have not found the job, became envious of me. She was more envious that I have such an ability to just go. So I was, I was just bargaining. I would get at least job at the supermarket part-time or whatever time. Whatever, and then I would go and start uh, to do my German, which I started to learn. But my aunt did not really help me out with the language skills. Anything I asked my aunt, it was very difficult for her. Job, I never get any kind of job, anything. So I turned around and I went back to Slovenia, where I did enroll myself into a German school. And very quickly, my German became quite okay. Uh, next to the jobs I worked, uh, however, the opportunity opened for me to go to Miami, to United States of America. Uh, it was very, very bad in Austria, where Yugoslavs uh, would send after me, Slovenia would send after me, Udba people, uh, neighbors, uh, it was totally Udba people basically KGBs in Russia, in Eastern Germany, equal to Stasi. And uh, they wanted me dead. They wanted me dead because I immigrated to Austria. It was a very, very bad thing. Russians threatened with that. I was left to my own devices with uh, Germany United and uh, with just about uh, Angela Merkel's politics to grow really through Eastern German politicians that were so impressed with my case, uh, deciding they will use her because she, she participated in this stuff to expand all the German economy to the next level through United Germany. Yeah, I never really have a problem helping Germans out to have the country back together. Uh, something that I deemed was beneficial for entire Europe. The more these countries here from Eastern Bloc would become independent, the more the better would be, I, I suppose, for everybody. Still, it was a uh, horror. I, I, I wrote about already on my news site, but this I will dedicate to Angela Merkel as I started at the beginning of the video, and it's everything already confirmed. Uh, this file that she's holding in her hand uh, is not going to do her any good. It was about uh, how, you know, you're going to identify and stuff like this. I did identify. I identified here, this stuff here. These people, def these people defaced me. What I mean deface is basically like you take... <sighs> Like you would take a magazine in your hands, as they demonstrated to me, I'm going to be doing like this. And I'm going to be scratching the faces with the pencil of the people. But that's basically what they, these people did to me with London, with the lies 
with the slender, with whatever they manage to produce to benefit from within, from me, to basically to liberate themselves from Soviet Union, become again re reunited with one Germany, is basically what they have used to destroy me. And in destruction, build a brand new fresh start, not with me, but with the one they ran away from, with the Soviet Union, basically the one who inherited the Soviet Union in the biggest way, that's Russia. So I did found myself, before I headed to Miami in 1995, at night, on this bridge here, in the city of the Novo Mesto. It was not on one occasion, but at night time, this became like a, a frequent hiking route with the Angela Merkel, British royals, they would participate. This is a bridge across the Schumpeter. This is right there are torches, but that's not the torches. That's actually Schumpeter here, you know. This. Uh, let me see if I am going to get maybe a chance like this. As soon as I immigrated to the United States of America, at night I would be brought here with the, with the police and so on, and it would be a lot of people that would be hiking back and forth. It would, it would, it would become my life again. Uh, and just before I left to the United States of America, since I didn't wait for Slovenian system, which craved for the bigger Serbia under Milan Kucan to destroy me, to annihilate me, to kill me with a forced joblessness. Yeah, I did all kinds of crazy stuff to survive in Slovenia. DHL courier and uh, all kinds of stupid shit that uh, allowed me to somehow, somehow float. A boat, basically. Angela Merkel came up with a very generous offer. She said, once they learned that I'm heading to the United States of America for work, the German side decided, well, let me see, that's Angela Merkel, uh, German president. Every one of them was involved in this case, just so you know, right? Friedrich Ebert was not, Hans Luther either. Adolf Hitler also was not involved in it. I have to be a little bit humorous, right? Just a little bit. Gross Admiral Karl Dönitz. Gross Admiral Karl Dönitz. This is something I have to see it. I don't like to say anything before I investigate. Involved. Involved. Let me see this here. No, obviously this was not involved. He died in 1969, but he does look like an Eastern German politician. He did look like, just like this guy. Let me demonstrate you. Just like Eric Honecker. Very, 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 very involved. They involved all the people. They involved all the people that... Yeah, Egon Kranz. Yeah, Eric Honecker never died. He never died. Uh, this is how bad the Eastern Germany was. Ask Angela Merkel 
where Erich Honecker is. He never died. I, I know that he didn't die. He was one of the first people that made him disappear. Well, because supposedly he did some stuff in Eastern and in Eastern Germans when they gained the, the freedom were really pissed off and they were looking for the Stasi people. You know, that's why Angela Merkel was so handy in all this stuff. Egon Kranz, Kranz involved. Hans Modrov, yeah. I'm not gonna get into this stuff here. Uh, all these people. Even after they already served. Seven September nineteen sixty, East Berlin, East Germany, nineteen sixteen he died. No, I wasn't born in nineteen sixty eight. I was born in nineteen seventy one. involved yes i did visit it rudolf hess strange case of rudolf hess uh parachuting himself on britain uh trying to bring to peace both sides then make up your own mind he did work for I shouldn't even say that he worked for the Adolf Hitler, but he worked under Adolf Hitler. Your your case to decide. His entire family involved too. Dunich was mentioned many, many times. Angela Merkel knew knew him it anyhow all these people were involved whatever did not die before the 1971 this here this lady was big time involved i am very upset i get very very upset with her um, because this is a very very beautiful lady that i always flirted with and uh, it was just it, was just a pain in the butt really really i mean she was just just a nonsense the whole thing was a nonsense really anyhow it doesn't matter all right it doesn't it doesn't really matter this stuff i didn't go through these people to study these people uh frankly i don't give a fuck i'm gonna say like this i don't care i don't care about any of these people because I'm going to charge every one of these people with a crime, with a genocide. Why am I going to be doing this stuff? Well, it was said to me, don't go to the United States of America. Uh, let me get the picture for you. I don't care about this stuff anymore. I don't care about anything about what, who thinks about me, what, I don't give a three fuck about, who cares about, what anybody thinks about. I want this picture. Yeah, we, we have a job for you. No, I'll, let's go back here. Yeah. Who 
was this year? 1999, 1999, 1999. Car, car stance, uh, car stance, yeah, car stance, yeah. 1984, 1984, 1994, Richard Ford, yeah. Yeah, these people didn't make any kind of impression on me, really, these two guys. Uh, they liked me. They sure did, liked me. Uh, but it appeared like there was a tremendous, tremendous pressure mounting on them. Uh, other than this satisfaction, they never, 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 ever realized. The only thing I ever got from these people was complain. What I consider rather as a knife in my back, especially when Angela Merkel started to insist that I should live to the United States of America because that has a job with the police, that has a job for me in Germany, that is going to be a, a job, that is a job in assembly line in Germany. Um, in a, in a car factory, it's going to be a job in assembly line in Germany, which is, um, you know, what's the matter? No? You, you don't like that? You don't like the job? You don't want to be an assembly man? Sure, why the fuck not? I mean, why did I go fucking study to throw away all my fucking education, right? I mean, the police officers from Novo Mesto, the Udba, the murderers, the killers wanted me to take that job. No, I have not seen myself other than like this. There's this famous guy here in Slovenia. His name is Metod Trobets, and he's a serial killer, this guy. So they say, and I believe so. This man had a job, probably something like that, in Germany. To talk about the prison assaults, let me see something. Oh, no, they, they do mention some kind of Eva Müller here, animal rights activist. Eva Müller gave an interview 24 org giving description of trauma to suppose torture of animals at a young age. Um, basically. I think this guy was the one that immigrated to the Germany. Uh, Slovenian killers, a serial assassins, a serial killers, such as let's say Slavoj Žižek, or let's say Marcel Stefančić, no longer even want to be seen. These are all the people from um, Milan Kuchan, you're talking about the hardcore assassins, Slobodan Milosevic, psychiatrists, uh, Radovan Karadzic, Mladic, you're talking about the Balkan butchers, when they requested from me to Now, see, this is this is this is insanity. I I actually I, I don't even know what to make out of this guy. I don't associate myself with a serial killer's mentality. That's bullshit. Uh, let me explain. As soon as I learned they want me to go to Germany to work on a fucking car assembly line as a mechanical engineering technician. Um, 
I protested against with Americans protesting to me. The Udba murderers already got in Slovenia at the time Americans on their side, which they gave the support to the Germans. What's the matter? You don't want to work and stuff like that. Yeah, what's the matter? What's the matter? Uh, fucking bullshit, ridiculous police officers with high school demanding for me to go to work in Germany in a car assembly line as a regular worker. Cost them, uh, cost me a ticket to Miami. I disappeared them out of their eyesight. They couldn't stop me, even with Angela Merkel. Right, Angela? This happened in Slovenia, all that stuff. Do you remember? The only one left that was still on my side. That if I, not that if I could, but. I really should have had, if I would have a chance, would basically kick them under the semi-tractor trailer. Heavy lorry, basically, because they didn't deserve to fucking breathe air. The waste of the fucking oxygen was a London British royals who did not, who disagreed with my work on car assembly line in Germany as a regular worker. After four years of fall of the Soviet Union, this is how the fuck I was treated. For doing all this, that's what the fuck I got in return. Also from Deutschland über alles. Yeah, Angela Merkel was already there. Heading spike toward the top of the German politic with these two politicians. That's why I said I don't give a three fucks about them liking me and even claiming that I caused them a trouble and stuff like that. I don't know how the fuck I caused trouble to these motherfuckers when I was the one who united, or I should say reunited, or I should say repair the damage with Germans have caused to Germany under Adolf Hitler. I don't fucking know, man. They dreamed about it, and they praised me like a god. And once they got the Germany together, I wasn't worth a fucking job on a fucking car assembly line in the Germany. That's what the fuck I was worth. It. They were watching me, how they were tearing me apart here in Slovenia. Want me fucking dead. The same like a Belgrade, the same like a Moscow. Maybe more. So, with knives in my back, I headed to Miami, selling my car, everything, just enough for the ticket, boarded the plane, and disappeared to nowhere on some ship over there to work as a busboy, work my way to become a waiter, escaping this. Exactly what you see right there, this German crap that stalked me and wanted me dead at all costs, indifferent from Putin, from Moscow. I was one year in the United States of America. And as I stated, I don't need any kind of, haha, yeah, yeah, it's true, it's true, fuck you. This is all on tape. The whole novel Mesto City knows about this stuff with her participating in these talks. We have maybe a job also for mechanical engineering technician in Germany. Maybe you want to immigrate to Germany. Yes. Of course, the fuck I want. I settled in the United States of America, got myself a place, eventually got married, was on my way to get a residence. And what the fuck I should do other than drop down everything, turn around and head to the Germany to get the job. So maybe I can become this guy here. That's why I use him as an example. I use him as an example because I understand that he actually worked in Germany, this guy. One time, at least in his life or whatever the case was. 
he burned a lot of women and did all kinds of crazy stuff. He was a serial killer. He was inside some kind of medical institutions and the psychiatric hospital Ljubljana Polia, the same hospital they stashed me inside with the same psychiatrists they participate using the same methods on me they have used on this individual here till I eventually took off the United States of America and it still didn't stop because Central Intelligence Agency was so good to KGB that on behalf of Germany they just couldn't resist and they delivered me back to Slovenia for more so you understand it took Angela Merkel about a year more to present me with an offer on behalf of Yugoslav Udba, Milan Kuchan, with a job that would match my education characteristics. That this would be like the last of AI. I was like, I, lady, go fuck yourself, basically. Don't come in my face. Don't, don't even step in front of me anymore. So it must have been hard for her, for me, drawing the finger down to her face, basically simply ignoring her. I never said to her one sorry word. It must have been so hard for her that, in fact, she decided to proceed with this procedure given Udba, everything she possibly had, all the support to basically break my teeth. And as I stated, I will put the video below so that you can watch this video Listen and you fucking understand me, what you have done to me. Thanks for watching this video. I don't actually have anything to say. Maybe Germans should know who assembled Germany again together after the World War II. Who was the one who fed your assembly, car assembly lines, and ran your economy since you paid? A lot of money, I understand, for her haircuts every year. I understand that's what is in this written. So I don't give a, I don't care about what you are doing. It's just okay that you know about that stuff. Did one of the police investigators, also who met me, it's Bruce Nietzsche. That guy knew about all this stuff. All the people knew about these things. Entire novel mess to know about these things. They got really adults, became doubtful about the Germany after so many, I would say, favors I did because I had to live basically for the Germany a little bit. And in the end, uh, look just how far the life brought me. Thanks for watching this video. Till next time.